but uh, I, I think that's it. Oh no, we've not talked to Vetra, have we? Let's get the lift. I wonder if we could just jump down. Yeah, it looks like we could just jump down. Whatever. Where's Vetra? There's a bunch of guns in there. Oh, she's not down here. She's probably in here somewhere then, right? Somewhere in... Ah, oh. oh, hi, they're here. Strong, honorable survivors. It's been a while since I encountered a new friendly species. Last time was the humans. Oh, yeah. You lived through first contact with them, didn't you? If I recall, my exact words were, they're bold for being so squishy, do they know they're mostly water? Harsh. Don't let Ryder hear you. I'm right here. Just saying. Ryder, you meet Spender yet? Colonial Affairs, the ass in Assistant Director. Got no idea why Addison keeps him around. Spender lied to the Krogan during the uprising, and he's headed out for cash ever since. He's up to something. I just can't prove it. We should pay him a visit on the Nexus. Good idea. I like it. What's it like to have Kesh as a granddaughter? Kesh is my Rushan, child of my blood. Raised her myself. Damn proud of her too. She did good, even with me for a granddad. She's honest. Definitely blunt. She had to take after me in some ways, I guess. Did Lexi brief you on Sam and squad connectivity yet? Yeah. You want to hook that thing up to my comm, sure, but that's where it stops. Putting an AI in your head, giving it access to everything like that, it's begging for trouble. Why do you say that? I've seen what bots can do when they turn on their creators. Been in some of those fights. There's a reason that kind of research was outlawed. Yeah, I was dismissed from the Alliance when news of what my dad was researching got out. No shit. Ruined the writer name, I'll bet. Almost. I'm not thrilled about it myself, but it is what it is. Just make sure it can't unshackle itself. There'll be hell to pay if that happens. I'd like to know more about you. Fire away. Tell me more about the Krogan colony. My clan's there. We also got some scouts looking for any unclaimed territory to grab up. Got a decent setup going. Self-sustainable. The works. Even some farming. Farming? Krogan farm? Food's food. Just because we can eat anything doesn't mean we gotta settle for scraps. I'm pretty fond of Corcro roots myself. Takes a while to chew through those. How did you and Vetra meet? Huh, that's right. Your father brought you into the project pretty late, didn't he? Must have been a pretty steep learning curve since they thawed you out. Yeah, you something like that. that. You yeah. make do with what you get. Anyway, I met Vetra back when we were building the Nexus. She swiped supplies I was trying to get for cash right under my nose. I tried to intimidate her into turning them over to me, and let me tell you, that Turian takes shit from no one. She really has a way of getting things done. She sure does. But here's the best part. She waited until I saw her again in Kesh's office, no less, to tell me she'd been working for Kesh all along. They're both still laughing at me over that. Rip. So about all this combat experience you have, I'd love some details. Ha! <laughs> the list will be shorter if you ask me what experience I don't have. I've been doing this for a long time now, centuries, shit, well over a thousand years. Don't even know how I'm still alive, to be honest. Skill? You need luck to be a merc. Skill, sure, but a whole lot of luck. And a really hard head. Got any stories or advice to share? Does a pie jack scratch its butt? Probably. Anything about the cat? Or combat in general? Well, common cat are pretty straightforward. Hit them hard enough, they die like anything else. Tell me more about fighting Ket. 
Wraiths are sneaky little shits like the ghost up behind you when you least expect it. Just listen for them. They tend to give themselves away right before coming at you. Break through their head plates, then a headshot should do the trick. Why did the Krogan leave the Nexus? The Nexus got us Krogan to stop the mutiny. In return, we were supposed to get a say in station business. Spender, Addison's assistant, lied about the deal, and Tan came down hard. Too hard. So we left. Cash is alone on that station now. You think someone might try to hurt Cash? Ah, more like she airlocks Spender. Or he tries to stab her in the back, and then she airlocks him. Tan wouldn't listen to me when I told him Spender had a part in the mutiny. I had no proof. So what's my part in this? Things need to get sorted out, and my clan needs to get back on station, without Spender messing things up. Way I see it, you're probably the best one for that job. Probably. We can talk more later. Sure. Hey, one last thing. Yeah? <laughs> Don't call me kill. Kid. Is everyone a kid to you? Ha, <laughs> when you get to be my age, yeah, pretty much. Nice meme. Nice meme. Good chat. Good chat. So I take it that's another mission for us to do. Ryder. Hi. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Well, you keep moving, but yeah. She didn't have anything new to say, so I guess that's that. Alright. Time to bail, I'd say. Probably. I think this is just a direct route you to have the AVP yep. outstanding Pathfinder. Again. Yeah. I'll lend you thirty if you pay me back by tomorrow. Done. Thank you, Suvi. Someday I'll find out why you're always strapped for credits. Nice meme. How you doing? I saw pictures of the vault. Astounding how big it is. And how much of it didn't you see? What if it's way bigger? What's all that space for? Yes, for parties, mate. With Definitely. what it has to do, it could go thousands of miles below the surface of the planet. Or completely span it. An underground network. Just a thought, of course. I wouldn't even know where to start hypothesizing how it all works. The remnant builders, whoever, whatever they were, accomplished something far beyond us. I take you work closely with the Nexus science team? I tried to keep in contact with them. We discuss anything and everything we discover out here. After all, many brains are better than one, and Dr. Aridana is worth two or three at least. I work best when I have other people to bounce ideas off of. I'm still fuzzy about how we managed to see Andromeda all the way from home. It confused me too. I mean, the light lag would have made any data two million years out of date. So I asked Dr. Aridana, and she told me, well, it wasn't our tech that did it. It was the Geths. You're kidding. Those killer robots we had in the Milky Way? Those exact ones. The initiative obtained data from an array in deep space. A Geth construct. According to Aridana, the Geth rebuilt a mass relay and turned the approach corridor into an FTL sensor. A what now? It operated like a telescope, just faster than light. It provided much more up-to-date info. We don't know why the Geth were interested in observing beyond the galaxy, though. Maybe we'll never know. Did my dad know about this? Why didn't he tell me? It's possible he didn't know. The Geth are isolationist and hostile. Using the info, even obtaining it in the first place, probably crossed a lot of boundaries. What do you know about the Remnant's terraforming network? From what I can tell, the vault is designed to adjust almost everything about a planet. Climate, pH of the soil, atmosphere composition. There's even evidence that it can propagate life. If we can figure out how to control the vaults, we could turn these worlds into perfect habitats. When did you start believing in a god? My parents were both scientists. My home was ruled by rationality. So when I became a teenager, let's just say that while other kids found Batarian music, I found God. But your work as a scientist convinced me even more, especially when I got into molecular biology, physics. The patterns I kept seeing over and over again, 
They were like an artist's watermarks. God, to me, is an artist. An inventor, not someone checking to see if I brush my teeth. What do you know about the Scourge? We established that it's artificial. Someone put it there. Or they did something that caused its creation. We don't know why. That's still a mystery. Well, she had quite a lot to say. Sounds good. Nice move. And we'll talk to random Solari. This guy doesn't really have anything usually to say. Sam's we'll been see. compiling our star charts. The other pilots on the Nexus will have plenty of new trails to follow. You can drop the charts off the next time we're there. Funny. A few months ago, that station was like a war zone. Flying was my only way to escape the chaos. Now it's become a haven, just as it was meant to be. Every good space station needs a big lake. Maybe some fountains. Indeed. Even non-amphibians need a little water. Regardless, the worst threat to the whole initiative is still that monstrosity. You mean the Scourge? I still see it crippling the Nexus in my memories. I had to train other pilots in hazardous flight techniques just to look for food and water. It's a cage that eats good ships and good people. Helios won't be home so long as it's a threat. It's a huge space anomaly. It's not going away in anyone's lifetime. If we could somehow neutralize it, or if our ships had defenses against it. Still, that's what we do, isn't it? Find a way where there is none. Just see the Nexus for proof of that. Nice meme. Alright, I guess we'll head out and uh, go to some other area now, huh? Let's have a good old not look. Really see what a holiday destination. No, not really. It says progression 50. Oh, that's just the system, though, isn't it? Okay. Fair enough, then. Uh, missing sight. Oh, yeah, we've still got that thing there, don't we? Yeah, we're not doing that just yet. Because uh, that, that big, massive thing was a, a bit rip. I must say. Uh, yeah, we're going to go to this other planet then. Have all. See what's going on over there. Hopefully something interesting. As we go through this random animation again. This is home. Our ancestors came from this system. From Havar. It looks so small. Anomaly on sensors. Where? Oh, right there. <laughs> nice meme. Anomaly found. Well. Something there. I didn't quite catch the name of it. Something Dawnstar. We're in Skyrim again. Confirmed. That's definitely what it is, right? Have a look. That's oh, just a comet by the looks of it. Platinum. Sure. Got a bit of extra platinum from that, I guess. Alright. Let's actually move towards the planet now, then, huh? To make a move. Visit somewhere else after like six hours on failed. Oh, it looks like an actual moon rather than a planet. Looks pretty frozen as well, though. I guess the the Engarans are well adapted for like frozen environments. Or maybe, it's, yeah. Well, the poles look pretty big. This place obviously doesn't have a lot of greenhouse gases in the environment. That's assuming it's the same distance away from its star, then you know what Earth is. All right. Enough messing about. Let's go and actually land then, huh? Looks like there's a big storm going on. Something bad's happening down here. But let's just go and investigate. Uh, yeah, we should probably change our squad, right? Uh, should we take Drac and Yal? Why not? Or Jal? However you want to say his name. Alright, we'll go with that. Sounds good to me. Well, 
Well, welcome to a new planet, boys. It used to be an ungarren town. There'll be landing pads and good sight lines for a safe approach. Anomaly on the sensors. Something big, possibly hostile, taking evasive action. Wait, I don't think his. Uh oh. What are they looking at? Ah, oh, it's just more than flying things then, huh? Nice meme. Well, that's something you don't see back home. You never know, it is 600 years into the future. Anything could happen. Looks like a lot of them now. It looks like we've got a bit more plant life on this planet though. I suppose that's something, right? Holy shit. Got all this plant life, man. This place looks awesome. Look at that. Oh, yes. I've got to say, this game does look really good. Very impressed with how the game looks. Are we going the right way here? Oh, yeah. We need to actually, you know, uh, have all. And we need to talk to the random scientist then. Which are over yonder by the looks of it. Boom. Alright, alright. So I guess they're in this random building over here. They're probably going to think I'm an enemy, you know, because I mean, cat armor. Nah, what could possibly go wrong? Hi, how you doing? Jarl, what are you doing here? In the company of these people? Kiran. This is Pathfinder Ryder, from a long way away. Ryder, Kiran Dals, lead scientist at Dar Palev. This planet is amazing. I just have to say, Havarl is beautiful. The planet's beauty is the least of my current concerns. Where's wow. the rest of the team? Ryder has experience with Remnant. We might be able to help their investigations. You haven't heard? While the team was exploring the monolith, something went terribly wrong. They were caught in some kind of remnant stasis field, frozen in place, unresponsive. I know how to work remnant tech. I can help you. Ryder has seen a vault and apparently reset it. Somehow. Twice. An ocean of fish, one will have gems in its mouth. But if you think the alien can help, I'll set skepticism aside. The monolith is not far from here. See what you can do, but be careful. We don't know what triggered the stasis and it may happen again. Okay. Okay, fine. Uh, so how far away is this memes then? Not too far away. There is a like forward station here though, somewhere. Should be like a forward station around here by by the looks of it. So maybe we'll go and try and activate the one over here. Oh yeah, that's the wrong button. I need to get used to using my actual mouse button. Usually I don't have stuff binded to my mouse buttons, but in this case I couldn't actually find another another button to bind it to, which would be Watch out for Roka, and Garen fanatics that hate aliens. That hate you. Great. Mineral cache. Hello. I'll take all of that. Yeah, we got some silicon from that, so that's good. There's some enemies over here. Maybe we'll go and shoot some stuff. Huh? 